I grew up in a pastor's home in central Kentucky. I was filled with the baptism of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. When I was eight, I was baptized in water and my dad got to baptize me, which was a cool experience, especially now to look back on that. When I was 11, the Lord gave me a dream and that dream was a call to ministry. Part of that dream was there were hundreds of people with heavy, heavy weights and chains on them. Then I saw a timer and there was hours and minutes and seconds and the seconds were just going faster and faster and I knew that it represented the return of Jesus. Uh, part of that dream was also mobilizing the church to reach the lost. That dream really shaped my worldview from that point on. When I was 19, I went down and spent a year in Ecuador um, as a missionary associate with the Assemblies of God. I was working on the edge of the Amazon jungle with the Shuar Indians, which was an amazing, amazing experience. While I was there, some things unfortunately happened at home back in the States and I uh, had a lot of broken dreams. After that year in Ecuador, I came back to the States and I came back home. I couldn't understand why that if God loved me, He would allow me to go through what I had to go through. I couldn't understand how God could let bad things happen to good people who served Him and who had given Him everything. I felt like I couldn't trust God anymore. That next year of my life, just battling a lot of just depression, personal failures and struggles. Either God is real, and everything that He says is true, and I have to follow Him 100%, hardcore, no, no looking back, or um, if it's not real and it's all just a fairy tale, I could not deny the power that I had seen in my own life, the power of God at work. I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm struggling, but I'm going to struggle forward. And I remember a point that um, I came to where I was just weeping, uh, and I was listening to worship music, and I was just remembering how that I used to be so close to God. At the beginning of 2010 in January was a very bad earthquake in Haiti. Thousands of people were misplaced. A missions organization contacted me because they needed someone who could speak Spanish to go down and translate for them as they laid groundwork for a missions team to come in through the Dominican Republic and go into Haiti. That was a Tuesday and Friday morning. I was on the airplane heading down to the craziest six weeks of my life. Some nights we didn't know where we were going to sleep and some days we didn't quite have enough food. Um, but I learned to trust God on that trip. And one day we were having a prayer, a prayer meeting with the missions team and a man who I really didn't know uh, came and prayed for me that rivers of living water would flow from me and flow from my life. About a week later, another lady prayed the same thing for me. And then one week later, we were dropping a missions leader off at the airport, and we asked her to pray for us before she jumped out. So we were there in the back of the cab, and she puts her hand on my belly, and she prayed, and she prophesied, rivers of living water would flow from me. God did something during that trip. Faith began to build in my heart. When I came back, I was working as a cashier. A lady who was one of our customers came through and she said, did you get a haircut? I'm like, no. Did you used to have glasses or did you color your hair or something? No, no, nothing's different. What was different is that I was alive in my spirit. Not too long after that, I went to Christ for the Nations down in Dallas, Texas, where I became a student. And during that first semester, God began to speak to my heart. Rebecca, would you stay here in the United States if I asked you to? And one of my greatest fears was getting stuck in the United States, living out the American dream and not fulfilling what God wanted me to do. That was the same semester that I met my husband and we're now uh, working together as a team to fulfill the call that God's put on both of our lives. Our vision together is to inspire and equip the church and to plant, grow, and develop Hispanic ministries. Thank you.